हेलो हेलो रिवान हैव यू ऑल टुडे सो लास्ट क्लास में हमने किया था और इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टार्टेड अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन एंड टुडे वी विल बी मूविंग फर्दर एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट इज कम्युनिकेशन इन और व्हाट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इन अ मोर डिटेल्ड मैनर नाउ टू गिव यू अ रिकैप आई हैव cleared yesterday that burlo sir gave two important process of communication he started with the sr model like the sender and the receiver model and it was then refined to smcr model so here sr means sender and receiver smcr means sender message channel receiver so these are the th- two models you need to remember these are called uh, the basic communication model if anybody will ask you or in any exam question it is asked what is basic communication model then your answer should be burlo sir's sr model or smcr model is considered as the basic communication model moving forward with the process of communication we started to understand what is the entire process of communication and i have given you a small trick to remember all the points in the sequential manner so what was the trick to give you a recap it was sender encoding message receiver decoding feedback and in between those three and three parts you will uh, write transmission transmission is also known as channel so sender encoding message receiver decoding feedback and transmission in the middle now uh, yesterday we have completed uh, who is a sender who is a receiver and what is encoding so three points we have completed the remaining four points we are going to do today that is the message transmission decoding and feedback this will complete our process of communication after process of communication we'll start with various types of communication which is very very interesting topic and important with reference to your examinations because types of communication is something very large topic and you can easily expect one or two questions from this thing so let's start with our uh, today's topic that is the remaining points of process of communication now uh, sender is a person that uh, who originates the message who gives the message who you can say uh, sends the message he has the idea in mind after sender we have encoding encoding means it is a process or it is exactly how you are going to communicate or how are you going to send the message so when we understand or when we try to figure out how are we going to send the message to the other person it it would be a verbal communication non verbal communication telephonic communication exactly what words are we going to use when are we going to communicate when we formulate everything that is called encoding the entire message or encoding the communication process so once encoding is done then the message is generated we have also completed who is a receiver receive is a, a receiver is a person who receives the message the main responsibility of the receiver is to uh, collect the message understand it and provide feedback to the sender so these three things we have completed that is the sender encoding as well as the receiver now let's talk about the message uh, transmission decoding and feedback in detail so first message message is the exact text which you are going to send means suppose if you want to write an application for job or if you want to write an application for leave if you want to talk to your friend or invite him or her to your birthday party now in these scenarios what you are going to do you are either going to call the person okay and if it is something professional you cannot call you will have to write a written mail or a letter at that case the points you are going to choose the sentences you are going to choose in your letter becomes the exact uh, i could say message so here what exactly have you written what words have you used what is the entire message that you are going to give to the other person 
that is the message so first is the sender the person who is responsible to send the message second is the encoding process like how you are going to communicate third is the message the entire draft the entire communication which is to be done and once the message is ready what you are going to do you are going to send it to the other person with the help of a channel it can also be called as a transmission or a medium these three things are one and the same so once i write the letter i need to post it once i uh, draft a mail i need to click on send and make sure it is sent to the other person once i decide that yes this is what i'm going to convey to the other person on a phone call i need to pick up the receiver and i need to start calling the person in order to start the communication process so when we initiate the communication process through a transmission through a medium through a channel it is known as transmission so these are the three th same things and let me give you here a detailed version of this encoding we have done message the idea information view fact feeling that is generated by the sender and is then intended to be communicated further that is called the message so the entire draft the entire thing the entire topic the entire information that you want to communicate the exact thing is called the message transmission it is the manner in which encoded message is transmitted like how you are going to trans uh, for the message to the other person the way the message may be once again a uh, so sorry the message may be orally uh, transmitted orally or in writing the transmission of communication includes telephone internet post fax email so how you are going to send the message to the other person that is transmission after transmission we have the receiver that we have understood in the last lecture receiver is the uh, receiver is one person or the person who receives the message understands it and then responds or reacts accordingly okay so these are the th uh, things after receiver we have two more important things that is decoding and feedback now decoding is exactly opposite to encoding in encoding we try to formulate or we'll try to understand how do we uh, i'm really sorry how do we send the message or what would be the way to send the message what words should you use what medium should you use so once you use the message and you send it to the other person the next would be decoding the other person will try to understand once you have encoded the message and send it to the receiver then after decoding the message is received by the sender but before that receiving is happened okay there would be a confusion i'll try to uh, solve the same in many books there is given like we have the method that is sender encoding message receiver decoding feedback and transmission in between this is our entire process but in certain books i have seen this they have given a process which has sender encoding message transmission decoding receiver feedback now if you see there is a slight change in both the processes the first one and the second one the slight change is the places of the receiver and decoder has decode has been replaced this is completely wrong according to me i'll say i'll tell you the reason is suppose if your friend has written a letter to you or even your friend has sent an sms to you okay so until and unless you open the message you receive the message you read the message you will not be able to understand it so you need to receive it first and then you will be able to decode whereas in certain books it is mentioned that you need to decode first and then you will receive it so i think this is not exactly correct it could be an opinion but this is not the correct way the correct way would be first receiving the message first receiving the letter first taking the phone call first uh, receiving the mail once you receive it you open it you start reading it and then you're decoding you're trying to understand line by line word by word sentence by sentence so that is decoding now here if you see 
uh after decoding message is received by the receiver this would be wrong message is received by receiver and then the message can be decoded so this statement i would request you to strike it off okay the next last one is the feedback once the receiver confirms to the sender that yes i have received the message i have understood it and this is my response that becomes my feedback this is one of the simplest way to learn the process of communication i hope you have understood the entire steps in detail manner if still there are doubts there are issues there are problems please do let me know i would love to help you guys and uh, that's it for today let's meet uh, in the next lecture where we are going to do uh, the types of uh, communication okay bye everyone take good care of yourselves study hard